guys welcome back to my channel so today I literally haven't filmed in so long I am so sorry it's been like a good two weeks since I've filmed I've just been kind of busy you know just doing my own thing working last week it was mine and Scott's fifth year anniversary because we kind of went away so I haven't filmed for a while it's it's been a while it's, it's, been, it's seriously been a while so yeah and um, I'm gonna be filming what's in my spring some palette palette so I just do just want to mention that a lot of the shades in here are either well loved and that I want to continue using um throughout spring and summer and they're like I feel like some of these in here are like my holy grails um which is why they'll probably always be in like one of my palettes like whether it's spring summer autumn winter I'll forever use them all year round and some of them I kind of just wanted to put in here because I haven't used them or I have used them but I haven't used them enough. I wanted to play around with some more colours and stuff like that. As you can see today I went a little bit mermaidy. I'm going to be filming a tutorial on this look which will be coming soon. Yeah you can see that I'll be posting that sometime probably next week but yeah I'll leave, I'll let you know on my Instagram so go ahead and head and follow me there so then you know when I'm posting videos all that jazz yes so I'm sorry this video is gonna be so long I am so sorry but you know I'll try and cut it down as much as I can see okay so as you can see like this is my palette the yes this is my baby I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm just like this makes me happy for a little bit I love it because it's just got like all my neutral shades that I can use for every single day then it's got all my pinks and purples it's obviously got like I've got some of my greens and some of my blues down there I don't usually go for blues I don't usually think that they suit me but I kind of like this look today so yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay so the first shadow that I've got in here my first shade my first shade is my most used shadow ever guys this is vanilla bean and this is from makeup geek I will do a swatch don't worry as you can see there's major pan in there I love this shade specifically just for setting my lid and whenever I apply my primer I'll apply this shade first it's basically the same colour as my skin tone so you can hardly see it really you can barely see it even if I swatch it, it you won't be able to see it because it's my skin tone so yeah if you are like the same kind of colour skin as me or if you've got the same kind of skin tone as me this will probably work well for you as well okay so the next shadow is another makeup geek shadow it's another makeup geek shadow <laughs> yes you'll see so many of in here um, and this is Shimmer Shimmer. This is like my second most used shade ever. This is like a shimmery, it's basically, it's basically what the name is. It's a shimmer. It's really, really pretty. It's really pretty. Like, there we go. That's that. That's it swatched. Swatched on There you go. So as you can see, it's like a light champagne shimmery shade. The next shade is a MAC shadow and oh my god oh, this is my favourite this is like one of my favourite in a corner and brow bone highlights ever this is MAC nylon it's a little bit more expensive it's about £10 but to be honest with you I love it I actually love it ever since Jacqueline Hill kind of mentioned it I was kind of like mm, mm, do I go and buy it do I not and I bought it in ever since then I literally loved it it's like hey a white gold kind of shade but it's like super blinding like oh, yes. yes 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 I love it I love it so much it's just so it just I will wear this I will wear this even if I'm hardly wearing any makeup when I go to work I'll, I'll literally put this in my inner corner and it just brightens the whole area up and it's just like I could not live without MAC nylon. Um, yeah so the next shade were, is um, another makeup geek shadow and this is one of their foil shadows. Their foil shadows guys are literally amazing. They're like shimmer but they are like 10 times more amazing and this is starry eyed. I love this. They're, like I said, they're a little bit more expensive, but they're 100% worth it. This one kind of is like a pinky, it is like a pinky champagne shade. I use this one 
on the lid more than I would use shimmer shimmer so yes very pretty I'm almost you'll see the swatch now uh, I look at this and I'm just like I feel like makeup geek, makeup geek are not talked about enough now I feel like they've kind of disappeared when whereas when I first bought all my shadows they were literally so talked about it's crazy so that's what it looks like look at that look at that do you see that I literally want to put that all over my face no joke so there you go it's really pretty look at that oh look at that shine the next shade is another foiled eyeshadow from makeup geek and this is in the spotlight now this is similar to starry eyes but this is like a peachy shampoo it's more like peachy i would say it's like a peachy version of the last shade so if you don't like if you don't want to like starry eyes then you might like this it's a bit more warm really pretty though really really pretty let me show you guys like swatch again look at that look at that oh it's just so reflective it's so pretty oh. so as you can see there's definitely a bit more like a peach kind of undertone there but it's still very reflective next shade is like one of my first ever shades that i ever bought from makeup geek like i remember buying it and i was like yes i cannot wait to have you it's, um cosmopolitan Again from Makeup Geek, this is like a rose gold, kind of peachy, pinky shade. It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Let me swatch it for you. I think I have like, I've literally worn this shadow by itself before and it looks so, just so stunning. Like it's so pretty. Look at that. Look at that. I just feel like it's just such an underrated shadow. Look how pretty that is. Look at it. In here is my first like full transitional shade. This has been taught this this was like one of the most talked about shadows back again when I first purchased Makeup Geek. And this is Peach Smoothie. It's literally a peachy transitional shade. It is stunning. Let me swatch it for you. I love it. It's the only thing I do say I would say about it is it's very there's quite a bit of fallout with it. But besides from that, it's really pretty. There you go. Like I say, it's like a nice peachy transitional shade. Okay, the next shade I've got in here, I haven't, I haven't actually played with a lot, which is why I've kind of put it in here. This is a chickadee, again from Makeup Geek. It's literally an orange. There's, I can't really say much about it, it's an orange. And it's really, really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Swatch it on my hand for you guys. There it goes, it's like a straight up kind of orange and it's, it is kind of scary. It's not scary, but I just haven't had the courage to actually use it and I'm sitting here saying that. And here I am with turquoise all over my eyes. <laughs> The next shade is like literally one of my favourite gold shades in the whole entire universe. Um, it's another foiled shadow of course. And this is a magic act again from Makeup Geek. It is like a cool toned gold. I feel like there's so many golds out there that are just like coppery and they're like, you know, they're just not what I'm kind of looking for. It's like a true gold, I would say, with obviously the foiled effect on top of it. And it's just, oh, look at that, one swipe. One swipe, I don't even need to do more than that. It's so pretty. The next shade is another matte shade. I can turn off my shadows today, guys. Oh, this is Frappe. Again, from Makeup Geek, another Makeup Geek shadow. I'm so sorry, guys. So yeah, this is Frappe. And this is like another kind of, I'd say it's like an, it's like a medium warm toned brown. But yeah, that is a frappe. Very warm. I think it's just, I think it'd just be perfect just to, just to put in the crease. The next shade is like, like another favourite. I'm pretty sure like Jaclyn Hill loves this. So many other, so many like beauty YouTubers love this shade and I can see why because it's just it's just the best it's one of the best shadows ever and 
I love it. I love it so much. If you're a warm tone lover, you're going to love this. This is Coco Bear, again from Makeup Geek. Now this is like a ready toned brown. Like when you swatch it, even when you pop it on the eye, it just, oh, oh, it just looks at me. It, is, it does apply so nicely on the eyes. It just looks so good if you put it on the outer crease and then just blend it in. It's just, oh, it's gorgeous. I love it so much. I love it. The last neutral shade from my little collection that I've got is, um, what is it? Oh, this is Mocha. This is again, this is from Makeup Geek again. And this is a dark brown. It's like a dark, deep brown. But it's neutral, it's not like um, a warm tone or a cool tone, it's like a neutral tone brown. I love it, let me swatch it for you. Oh. So it's quite deep. So now we're heading into my pink collection. Yes, yes, we have the first shade, it's actually not a makeup geek shade guys. This is Secrets from Colourpop. I used this in my Valentine's Day tutorial in my last video, I'll link it down below. This is such a pretty pink guys, like I love doing pink looks so like any kind of pink shadow I'm like yes, give it to me now. It's very light so it's a perfect kind of like transitional shade just to start off your pink look. It's like a baby pink, that's literally what it is, it's a baby pink, I love it, I love it so much. It blends. I feel like Colourpop shadows are, you know, like, they're amazing. They're amazing. The next shadow is another, it's a, another Colourpop shadow. And this is called Soft Core. It's very similar to Secrets. But it's just a little bit darker. It's a little bit darker. It's really pretty though. It's really pretty. I use this as well in my Valentine's Day tutorial. So if you want to see how, like, they kind of work go ahead and check it out I'll leave, like i said i'll link it down below it's really really pretty i would say that's like a soft it's like a soft pink i don't really know how else to describe it i'm so bad at describing things guys it's just like a soft rosy kind of pink it's not i wouldn't say it's too cool toned i think it's got a little bit of a, like a hint of warmth in there my next pink my next pink is another kind of like matte shade and um, this is Cupcake from Makeup Geek. Another worldly used shadow as you can see. I actually love this shade. It's one of my favourite like pink shadows to use. I would say it's a little bit more cool toned um, than the first two shadows from Colourpop. I feel like this one is a, a, a smidge, like a little bit more on the cooler side than them too. You can see that. Yeah, it's definitely more like a cooler tone. We're getting there guys, we're like nearly halfway. The next shadow is a like a shimmery pink and this is on the fence from Colourpop. As you can see, it's really pretty. I haven't actually used this yet. I've swatched it but I haven't actually applied it on my lid. Pigmented. It looks really really pretty. Let me swatch it for you. There you go. It's got like a nice reflection on it, it's nice and light. I feel, I feel if you paired this with like the other two Colourpop shadows I showed you, it'd look so pretty. The next shade is another foil shadow, I'm sorry, um, Whimsical from Makeup Geek, again. I used this in my last, in my Valentine's Day tutorial as well. Um, and it just, uh, it just looks amazing, like. This has like a silvery kind of reflect to it, but it is like a pinky kind of silver. Like my manager actually said to me that she thought it looked silver, but it's like, it, I can see what she means. Like it is kind of like a very icy kind of pink. That is literally what it is. It's an icy kind of pink. But look at that. The stunning. The next shade is another a pop shadow <gasps> I used it again in my last tutorial and this is called fair play it's like a, a hot pink it's she a hot pink that's that's what it is that's what it is Let's watch it. it does feel these one this one feels a little bit more gritty like it doesn't feel as smooth 
as the other ones for some unknown reason. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It is literally like a straight up hot pink. It applies beautifully to the lid though, I do have to say. Looks gorgeous. Look at that. The next shadow is another colour pop shadow. I believe this is my last one, I think. I think it was. This is um called Gold Stay Golden. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. It's very like I can't tell if it's like a purpley kind of I don't know. I don't know what it is. But anyway, it's really really pretty. I haven't like a I haven't used this one yet either. Um but I don't have anything like this in my collection. It might remind, it kind of reminds me of a shadow from Anastasia Modern Renaissance part actually. And another Makeup Geek foiled shadow. And this is like, this is called Nostalgic. This is very similar to Whimsical, but it's more pinky than it is like icy, if that kind of makes sense. Whereas, but Whimsical is kind of like, it, it has like, a, it does have like a hint of like silver or like white. Whereas this one is more like, Pinky. Can I see? I'll swatch Whimsical next to it so you can kind of see the difference. You can see that. So that one there is nostalgic and then this one is Whimsical. So as you can see that is definitely more pinky whereas Whimsical is more of like an icy white pink with a hint of pink in it. It looks more pink in the pan. To be honest with you, but yeah, they're both really, really pretty shadows. Both gorgeous. I do, I love Whimsical though, I feel. The next shadow is, I don't know what it is actually. Dusty Rose. This is Dusty Rose from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I feel like I need to play with this shadow a little bit more. It's more on the cool tone, cool toned kind of side. It's like a cool tone, like morphe kind of shadow. This is in the uh, Modern Renaissance part, I believe. I tried to use it out of there and I just wasn't too sure. Like, I feel like you have to be able to pair it with the right kind of eye look. It is like very cool tones and I feel like with these kind of shadows it's hard because you want it to look nice. You want it to look really nice and you don't want to look as if you've got a bruised eye or like whatever. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I do love her mattes. I feel like her mattes, Venice and Beverly Hills mattes, are better than her shimmers, to be honest with you. Um, the next shade, so we're kind of getting into more into that like, purpley kind of side of things now, which is good. It's good. We're getting there. This is called Carnival, and it's from Makeup Geek again. This is like a lilac shade. I'd say it's like a straight up like lilac shade. It's really, really pretty. I haven't really played with this shadow either that much like but it is stunning like it looks gorgeous I feel like just putting this in this in the crease and then having like a deeper purple on the outer V and then a purple shimmer on the lid would just look mm, phenomenal look at that it's quite light but it is very lilac-y the next shade is Fashion Addict from Makeup Geek Again, I don't even know what this is. It's, it's definitely like a purple, it's quite a bright kind of purple. Fashion Addict, it's like a deep mid tone. No, it's like a mid tone kind of purple. It's really pretty. The next shade is another Makeup Geek one and this is called Pillow Talk it's like a purple then it's got like silver it's like silver reflex to it like, I haven't seen anything like it but it's stunning Ooh, look at that the next shadow is called black light from makeup geek again this is a duochrome shadow so it's like a purple blue shift it's really pretty like i said i've got these with like greens and it just 
you could pair, probably pair with like so many different colours, you could probably pair with like green, purple, blues, Go. So you can see like the the blue and the purple shift in it. It's just so different. Next shade is another foiled eyeshadow, again from Makeup Geek, and this is called Daydreamer. This is definitely like a lilac purple, obviously with like it's got like silver again on top. The foil shadows are just like so pigmented. Look at that. The you can see. Oh, it's stunning. It definitely has like an icy kind of layer to it, like an ice. The next purple is like even deeper than Fashion Addict. This is Curfew again from Makeup Geek. I feel like this shade as well can just really help deepen up the outer portion of your eye. I haven't really played with this one too much to be honest with you, but I really want to. It looks stunning. It's probably just like the perfect, perfect like outer crease shade we're doing like a purple look in this row the last purple from my palette sorry it's called Motown and this is like even deeper and it kind of it kind of like looks to me as if it's like a deep purple almost like bluish kind of shade it kind of looks blue I feel like purples are so difficult to kind of get right that to me looks like almost navy Okay, so on to the last row. Finally, we finally made it, guys. We finally made it. The first shadow in my last row is a yellow. I kind of felt like I needed a yellow in here somewhere. I feel like yellow kind of just reminds me of like summertime. So yeah, this is called Lemon Drop. Again, from Makeup Geek. I'm pretty sure this whole last row is Makeup Geek. I feel like you could probably still pair with this with greens and get away with it. Like I could probably do the same eye look today and then just put lemon drop all over the lid and I feel like it would just give it a bit of something different. The next shade again is a foiled shadow. But you guys are getting sick of it. I'm, I'm not even sorry. I'm not even sorry. This is called a fantasy. And it is like a it's like a like a bright green almost, but it's stunning. I just I look at this and I actually love it. I'm pretty sure like one year I kind of used this on the lower lash line. And I, you know what? If you're like scared of colour, don't even be afraid to put it on your lower lash line. Like I feel like that is probably how I started off. Look at that. The reflect on it again is just stunning, and it is like like a bright green so it'll just look perfect for like spring summer look at that stunning stunning but it is the next shade is and i'll make a geek one and this is a duo chrome again this is called typhoon i'm pretty sure this is like a bluey green I actually forget typhoon. it's really pretty i don't even know what kind of green this is but it's definitely like a bluey green it's almost like a sea foam kind of colour. The next shadow is actually one that I'm wearing on my in my crease today. This is like this is like more sea foam actually I would say. This is called Dragonfly. Yeah, this is like a sea foam kind of green. I would say more than more than typhoon. I don't even know what kind of green that is. I'm so bad. But yeah. I feel like when you swatch this it's not that grey. Like when you swatch it on your, your hand, like you'll see in a minute, I feel like it doesn't come off. Maybe it doesn't do too bad, it's not too bad actually. When I first swatched it, I kind of was like, um, 
I was like, okay, like, where's, where's the pigmentation? I was like, it's not that bad, but it does look better on the eye when you blend it all out. Shade is another foil shadow. It's the last foil shadow, guys. I'm sorry if you're sick of them. This is Pegasus, and this is like, this is like a blue, it's like a bright blue. And I look at this, I think of the sea. I think of like, not obviously like, you know, like the sea, like Brighton, but you know, like, or Morecambe. But it reminds me of like, sea, like in a different country, obviously. Like the sky is just so bright and vibrant. I don't usually play with a lot of blue kind of colours, but this is stunning. This watch. I really need to play with this shade somehow. Look at that. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Stunning. The next shade, which is nearly on my last shade, guys. I'm nearly there. This is called Shark Bait. I also got this on my eyes today. I've kind of put it on the outer part of my eye and blended it in with. It's really pretty. It's like but it's so pretty. It blends out beautifully as well. This this is the one that swatched bad and looks awful when you swatch it. But when you put it on the lid, it, it's amazing. The last shade in my palette is called Make. It's called Peacock. Again from Makeup Geek. This is like a deeper version of Shark Bait. I would say this is more. This is more on the bluey kind of side. But it is still quite kind of. Now it looks like a navy blue. To me, that's like nearly a navy blue. It look, that's what it looks like in the pan anyway. I don't know. Maybe it's just my lighting down here. I can't exactly see properly. But yeah, I haven't played with this shadow, so I thought I'd put it in there just so then I can have quite a few blues to kind of play with. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited because, like I said, I don't want to use blues. So, yeah, I think that is really pretty, really pretty Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. Please like and subscribe and comment down below, like always. And go check out my Instagram. I'll link everything down below as usual. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.